Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to Two Toe Tags Metal Reviews. And today we're going to be reviewing the classic album from Slipknot titled Iowa. So Vile and I took a good trip down memory lane this past week and listened to this album over and over and over. We finally are going to talk about it. So this album, to me, is one of the best examples of putting emotion into your music. Now, a little bit of background about this album is that this, when this album was made, the entire band was going through a terrible point in their lives. These guys were, like, under the gun working on this album. They were angry with each other, they were angry with the world, they were angry with themselves. They were upset. And you can hear that even in just the first track, 515. The screaming in that track is real anguish. Where one day, Sid, DJ, his grandfather passed away. He, that, like that day, he came into the studio and just lost it. Like at some mic, turn a mic on, whatever. And it's so legitimate and raw. And you hear that through this whole album. Corey is just unchained. So, one big thing about this album, honestly, for me, that I think deserves a little more praise is the second half. Because this album is crazy, through and through, super fast, super aggressive, in your face, explicit lyrics, just super hard, dark, and depressing. And from what I notice, everyone talks about the classics, People Equal Shit, Disaster Piece, Heretic Anthem Left Behind, but no one ever really talks about songs like The Shape, Skin Ticket, I Am Hated, New Abortion, Metabolic. Or you, yeah, some people talk about the title track. So, I just want to draw a little bit of attention to that second half and how raw, angry, and upset it is, and how it adds more to the contour of the album. You get to a song like Skin Ticket, it feels like you're in, like, some kind of cage, perhaps as Corey's describing in the lyrics, and it's uh, a lot creepier, a lot more kind of um, open-sounding. You listen to a song like Heretic Anthem, that's like 100% crazy energy the whole way through. So I do really like how a song like Skin Ticket kind of has the creepiness, eeriness factor and still has that edge to it. Similar case with Gently as well. Gently is really well positioned on the album, right in the middle. Really, really nice stuff. Um, a few other things to mention. A song like Disaster Piece, a lot of people talk about. That song, for me, has honestly one of the best breakdowns I've ever heard in any song. It is insane, aggressive, crazy. Seeing it live is a treat. Um, another thing I want to mention is some of the lyrical content on this album just feels so amazing to belt out. And I know people tend to joke about everything ends, I haven't slept since I woke up. Yes. But listen to the full, the full line. I haven't slept since I woke up and found my whole life was a lie, motherfucker. That's a sick line. No one ever considers the second half. Or, uh, I am hated. I'm fat and I'm ugly and proud, so fuck you, you know? Stuff like that adds to the experience. It's just these, like, I kept noticing as I'm listening to this album, I'm like, yeah, that line is sick, that line is sick, and there's such like, small bits of lyrical content. And it's amazing. Honestly, man, this album is just nasty through and through, and it's such a good epitome of what Slipknot is about. It's different sounding than the first record, but it still has the same energy, honestly, turned to a thousand. Take everything from the first record and multiply it by a million, <laughs> and you get this record. Vile, what are your thoughts? Iowa. This album is a gem, I would consider this. One of the top, one of the top metal albums of all time, really. Uh, from a band that's basically been running the game for the last two decades. Um, this album came out at a very rough time. It came out just before the attacks of 9-11. Um, obviously, the country was in shock. The world was in shock. And um, I think it's a testament that this album was still able to uh, get some wind under its wings after the dust had settled and still make its way to the commercial success that it was. It's certified platinum in the UK, certified platinum in the United States, and certified platinum in Canada as well. Massive success um, across the board for this album, and I think for good reason. Um, it kind of skyrocketed Slipknot to this 
superstardom. They were already on the rise and this kind of solidified them as, you know, a band that's here and here to stay. Um, I, I think it's, what's the second album? A sophomore album, I think, is what they call it. Um, so I think people kind of, you know, weren't quite sure, but as you see by their success, it definitely set them on the right path and, you know, they went with it. But anyways, this album, why do I like this album so much? So this album, it's called Iowa, obviously. So why is it called Iowa? As you guys probably know, it's because it's the hometown of the band, um, the home state of the band. They all, they're all from Iowa. So what does that mean though? Why is that important? I think it's important because as you listen to this album, you get a lot of emotions, a lot of senses of different feelings and different vibes, you know, across the board. Um, there's a lot of distress, there's a lot of angst, there's a lot of anguish and misery and a lot of very, a lot of negative kind of emotions, right? You go look at a lot of um, uh, some male uh, malevolence and some malice and, uh, you know, anger on this album. So where did that come from? And I think it comes from the roots, right? These guys are all rooted in Iowa. So when you're hearing this stuff on the album, it's internally coming out of these band members. Because what they're doing when they're playing this music is they're remembering stuff that happened to them throughout their lives. Stuff that, you know, people that were picking on them or, or relatives they lost or just hard times they went through. And they're releasing all that energy into the music. And you freaking sense that on this album. And I don't know any other album that I've ever listened to where I get that sense, except for this one. And I think they called it Iowa because they wanted it to be you know, it was just so rooted. They're rooted in Iowa and all the stuff that you're hearing is rooted in them. Um, and I think it's just very powerful in that aspect. Um, the album goes on a journey. You get, you know, the intro track 515 is, uh, is a bit chaotic and also kind of distressing to listen to. And then you just get into just some really powerful, just heavy, 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 distorted, low tuned, um, thunderous drums, just chaos. And you go for a ride for a few songs on that wave. And then you get to a song like Gently, where it completely breaks up the pace. But you still get this like really deep, really visceral um, perspective of this band. And you know, it's still heavy, it's still heavy as fuck, but it just goes for a ride, then it gets heavier again, it gets a little weird at certain points. Um, and then at the end, you got this, another, uh, the last track, self-titled track, or um, the title track, <laughs> um, but it also gets very distressing and very kind of uncomfortable to listen to and you're hearing screams and moans and things like that. Um, but the whole album is just kind of centered and fixated around anger and pain and you really get a sense of that when listening to this album it's a great album to put on when you're feeling any of those emotions and you put something like that on you go i'm glad somebody else feels the way i feel i'm glad i'm not the only one that feels like this because that can feel lonely sometimes and this is one of those albums where you can put on you can release all that energy with the music as it's playing and it makes you feel better but there's things like even the even ross robinson the guy who produced this album he produced this album with a broken back like this, like there's a lot of stuff surrounding this album that um, kind of just adds to the, the 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 torment that everybody involved was just feeling, right? The guy had, a, he had I think it was a motorcycle accident or a snowboarding accident or dirt bike accident or something like that. But he he broke his back. I don't know how serious it was, but he produced the album basically with a broken back. Um, that's pretty hardcore. So, um, I mean, I can go track by track by track and, uh, and tell you guys what I think of each one, but some highlights for me, like People Equal Shit and The Heretic Anthem have always been my two favorite songs on the album. I think a lot of people would say that, but um, Disaster Piece, um, Metabolic, Gently, I mean, I could just probably name all the songs. Left Behind is an underrated track. Um, my Plague is an underrated track. Uh, one thing I'm gonna add here probably before we get to ratings, is um, 
A lot of people say that the first two Slipknot albums are the only albums that Slipknot has done that are good because they sold out after that with their clean singing on volume three and all that blah. I disagree with that because this album has about half the songs have clean vocals on them. Like Left Behind, for example, is a clean vocal song. It's got some harsh vocals in it, but it's their first single off this album and it's a clean vocal song. Just an example. But anyways, um, I just think this is just a really great album. I really don't know how to really put that into better words. Uh, it just really hits the mark for me on an emotional level. Uh, so yeah, I think we should uh, get to ratings. So as for ratings, I mean, you know, I said my bit about this album. It's one of the most raw, crazy, aggressive, evil albums I've ever heard. Um, you know, another good example of that on the title track. In the recording process, Corey stripped naked, threw up on himself, and started cutting himself with glass to record the vocals for that song. If that doesn't, you know, make you think, wow, this album really has something super crazy about it, then I don't know what does. It's an obvious toe tag for me. Just honestly one of the best albums I've ever heard. Just top god tier album for me. So yeah, I give um, Iowa a toe tag, of course. It's super deserving. Uh, I'm really glad that Slipknot won the best metal band in the world tournament. I'm really glad that Iowa won the, the um, the poll for the album to do. I would have been happy with any Slipknot album, to be honest, but um, I can't guarantee that all Slipknot albums would have got a toe tag from me. This one definitely deserves it, so it's going on the list. I think it definitely needs to be on the list. Um, so yeah, happy about that. And with that being said, those are our ratings. Two toe tags for Iowa, well deserved. This band is honestly something special. And that's all we got for you guys today. So remember to like the video if you liked it. Comment, tell us in the comments below, what do you think of Iowa? Does it get your toe tag? We'd love to hear what you guys have to think. I'm TV Fish. And I'm Vile Self. And we'll see you guys later.